Jacksonville man continues to plead for answers nearly two months after his son was one of two people found dead in an Arlington apartment complex. Craig Aiken says his son Cravon was one of the two victims and Aiken says he went weeks without much from police, but recently got an update from the state attorney's office. All your sides, Andrew Badillo spoke with Aiken at his home today and Andrew, what did he tell you? Aiken says the state attorney's office called him late last week and said it should have an update soon. For Aiken, it's progress, but he says he won't sleep until his son's killer is caught and charged. Cravon Aiken was the youngest of eight. Cravon was a little shorty, man. Like, all his siblings had grew up faster than him. But the youngest also end up growing. He'll come by and tell, call me old man and stuff like that. You know, he always consider himself just like me. Once they get a certain age, they, they fly. Craig Aiken sees himself when looking at pictures of his 20-year-old son. Cravon Aiken was found dead March 1st. That day, police arrested a 17-year-old suspect, but have not charged the teenager with Aiken's killing. State attorney's office recently called Aiken's family. And they assured me that they was working on the case and they was waiting on certain evidence to come back and they had a suspect that they should be charging soon. He says he went two months with almost no information from police. Instead, he heard whispers and rumors on the streets. Is there any reason to believe in your mind that your son was affiliated in any way? I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't know was he affiliated in no gang or none of this, but I'm gonna tell you he was not affiliated at my house at no gang. It ain't no gang at my house, you know. So when you come to my house, it will fall in sun. You're not getting initiated here. You know what I'm saying? It was only one boss and leader. That's me in my household. So if he's in some type of gang, that's new to me. Aiken says he hasn't seen proof his son was in a gang. The fact remains, a father is without a son. That's all Craven ever wanted was his kids to be part of the family. And and his baby mama to be part of the family. Want us to do family things together. Well, we reached out to the state attorney's office. It said it could not give us a public update as this case is still under investigation. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office did not return our request for comment. Well, we've also been able to identify the other victim in the double shooting as 19 year old Devon Taylor. Taylor's mother, Carmisha Bryant, told First Coast News her son and Cravon Aiken were killed in her apartment early that March 1st morning. She says the shooting woke her up. Bryant told us, quote, he, her son Devon, was my little angel. The day his life got taken away, I died riding along with him, end quote. In the studio, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.